stressed and depressed because apparently I'm low in E man. Or it is as though I'm not reading the Quran. Man, I'm trying my best. I'm just sick of it, man. I don't know why it's happening to me. I just don't understand. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And your girl Fanny Lungu. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction, but before we get into the reaction, guys, we wanna thank everybody for getting us to 6,000 subscribers. And um many thanks to the people who actually uh, feel the need to give us reactions. You are also the realest MVP. We have our Patreon. If you want to become a patron, just go down in the description below and hit that Patreon uh, link down there and become our patron. And I mean, just suggest the things that you want us to post and we're going to do it for you. We're going to post it on our Patreon and stuff like that. If you want to see your vlog life, if you want to see just, just anything about, just anything interesting, just let us know and then we're going to do it. We're going to do it for you or we're going to post it on our Patreon and stuff like that. Support us. And uh, I mean, it's, it's going to make us happy. Yeah. At the end of the day, we're also making you guys happy. So today we're gonna do another reaction, and uh, this one right here we're gonna do "Dear Depression," spoken word, emotional, featuring Isam. So without any further ado, guys, like maybe it's Isam or Isam, either. So without any further ado, guys, let's get it. <clears throat> man, how's everything? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You don't look yourself anymore, man. Tell me what's wrong. Truth is, my life is a mess. I'm sad and upset, sick and depressed. I got stress on my chest. Man, I'm sinking in debt. My relationship's wrecking, it's breaking my neck. And I can't find a job. Man, I got nothing left. Ask me how I was. Man, I wish I was dead. I'm upset, I'm upset. Man, I'm upset. Whoa. Brother, just breathe, man, lift up your head Understand what you mean, but don't you forget This life is a test, that's what Allah said He made life and death to test who was best in deeds I mean, what you expect for it to be ease, for it to be rest For us to just leave, for us to be left To say that we believe without any tests Nah, of course it gets hard As tests become large but as hard as it gets, it does a lot. I understand what you're saying. I just don't have the patience. I'm tired and anxious. I swear I can't take this. I can feel myself breaking. I don't know if God hates me because that's what they say to me. I'm stressed and depressed because apparently I'm low in E man. Or it is as though I'm not reading the Quran. Man, I'm trying my best. I'm just sick of it, man. I don't know why it's happening to me. I just don't understand. Brother, you just keep doing the best that you can And whatever happens, it happens, it's all in God's plan Just put your trust in the law, it's all in His hands And ignore what they say, cause they misunderstand See, Allah who tests those that He loves Just look at the best of the best, the messenger of Allah He had it so tough, He had it so rough, man, He had it so hard But despite it all, He was the most beloved Brother, I'm trying to believe but I'm torn and I'm weak, see at night I can't sleep from all my worry and grief It's brought me to my knees And in that case you're in the best place you can possibly be To call upon your Lord in need For verily in the remembrance of God, hearts find relief Brother please, I'm sorry you don't know my story, you don't know where I've been Yeah, but I know that surely after every hardship comes ease Surely after every hardship comes ease so don't lose hope and don't you ever despair And no matter how hard it gets Allah will never burden your soul more than it can bear I'm only saying this because I love you Wallahi, I swear Thank you my brother It's good to have someone there To have somebody by my side who actually cares So I thank you for listening Just please keep on visiting I'm sorry if I was bickering I know I have flaws I just need your support Brother, this is exactly what Muslims are for. This is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he taught. So don't be afraid to reach out for help. And don't be ashamed to look out for your health. And know that in order to change, it starts with yourself. May Allah make it easy for you and everyone else. Pray for their souls, pray for their souls. I'm 
Yeah, exactly. Because depression, that's insane. Depression can insane. get to anybody. <laughs> it doesn't matter who you are. Yeah. It can get to anybody out there. It's but, just. But uh, then you don't, like I say, when you have a problem, I feel like you should talk about it. Yeah, sure. Like, don't let the problem, a problem get into you. Something. Problem shared is one that's solved or something like that. Yeah, I mean. Don't let it get into you to an extent of you trying to, you it's know. It's depression that it's gotten into you. I mean, don't let it get into you so bad to an extent of committing suicide. You know, there's depression, there is no suicide. You get it? I mean, just find somebody you can talk to, you, you can open up to, or something like that. If you have friends who they are not like, you know, they are not willing to help. Okay, I know there are friends who I'm are sure willing. People are willing to help. Yeah, but I know there are there are some people who you can't approach them and they look look, look at it like uh, you get or it. Or maybe they're judgmental. Yeah, judgmental. You get it. So, and I feel most of the people have fear of approaching friends and telling them what they are going through because there's going to be a lot of judging and whatnot. Instead of solving the problem, it's going to be why did you even do that? What what do I, I feel like there's always someone to talk to. Of course, of course. There's always that one person, you know, that will always want to listen to you. I mean, and that one person should be your your guide, like your angel or something, because. Plus, sometimes. He's the one. Uh, sorry. I mean, that one person that is it, going to tell you uh, to ease your depression and stuff like that. That might be your guide and angel. I mean, somebody who was just brought to you so that it can ease you down. Probably you. Probably your. Uh, what do you call this? You're contemplating, you are contemplating maybe suicide and stuff like that and somebody just come out of nowhere and just started talking to you without even you approaching him. You get it? I mean, it's sometimes it's just unbelievable, I mean, to have such kind of friends. It might be even not be your friend. You, you get it? I mean, it may be just a stranger, just a stranger out there, you get it? I mean, just somebody that you never knew. You just Somebody just comes out of nowhere, tells you, uh, this is, uh, you know, this is it. And he, tr he tries to give you a good advice and then all of a sudden it just disappears. But why did that guy even disappear in the first place? That's what I'm I have no idea. What I was trying to say is um, sometimes when you're going through the toughest of times, that's your yeah. breakthrough in life. Yeah, true. You shouldn't true. just give up on yourself. Yeah, true. They say like, yeah, that's 100% true. Like the moment you go to the toughest times or you're going through hardship, that's where the, the like, that's where like, you're really close to the breakthrough. I mean, that's really, 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 really good. I mean, yeah, it's true. And I feel like if you're consumed by bad energy, say depression, I feel like you should focus your, you should divert your energy into something else. Yeah, true. Cause- um, It can be work, but, do you know that there's some people that are just it can be anyway, let me just say work. But there's some people that are actually stressed and take that stress maybe into work. Yeah, true. I feel like that doesn't solve much though. No, no, it doesn't solve much. If look, look like, like this is how I like to put it. If you know that there's a lot of negative uh, energy around you, people and you're going through depression and stuff like that, there's one thing and one thing only where you can just go and never find anything like negativity. What's that? Just go out to nature, just go out there somewhere peaceful where there's just birds, 
you can see uh, trees, you can see just, you know, a uh, green and beautiful uh, atmosphere. Sit down, uh, you know what, just breathe in and out. You can, you, you can practice whatever, like let's say you can just do your uh, meditation or something, or maybe you can just do a prayer or whatever thing. Trust me, that thing works. Just go out there in a peaceful place. Don't go in a busy street. You'll never get, you, you'll even be more depressed out there because you'll see things that you probably you want and then you get it. I mean, in nature, you know something funny about nature? You can't see something and then you start uh, becoming jealous about it or start having thoughts about it. That thought? Yeah, you, get, you just see pure energy, like pure energy and it even gives you a lot of bliss. You get it? I mean, it's not something that you, you're going to see materialistic type of things. It's totally different. If anyone knows what the disappearing at the end meant, please explain to us. Yeah, just let us know. Why did the other guy disappear? I was thinking... Does that mean death? I was, or your problem has disappeared? Yeah. Which one of the two? I was thinking the guy, the friend, who would disappear because probably he was like, was like kind of stranger coming to your life and then all of a sudden, boom, you get it. I don't know, you can, but anyway, you know, people see one thing, but the way we interpret it, just, just let us know uh, about the ending when the guy disappeared, like the guy who was depressed. Just let us know what does that even mean. We have our own uh, perspective. I thought uh, you said it's, it's about, um, I'm thinking three things mm -hmm. your problem has been solved, yeah, or it's you, death, died. or maybe yeah. it's your inner ego, and now you sorted out your issue. More like the first reason I gave you. Yeah. He might be the one. It's probably. like looking in a mirror. Yeah, seeing yourself. Talking to yourself. Yeah. About what? It's sure. about things. Yeah, just let us know in the comment section. What do you think? And just let us know. Um, if you feel like you'd react to this video in a better way, just give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section. Tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about uh, DA depression, spoken word. Uh, featuring Izam. Just let us know in the comment section. What do you think? Izam, Izam, either, either way. Just let us know in the comment section. What do you think? The most important thing is don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more we keep on subscribing, the more we give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. And about depression, guys, if you know anybody who's going through a depression, of course, uh, you know, they can never come to you probably because they have that fear but you can you can see it and you can sense it be aware of how you, your friends act around yeah you. yeah just be aware just uh be aware and actually call them text them let's be less self-centered let's think yeah. about others as well check up on your friend you get it like you never know what is happening to your friend i mean it's so sad when you hear somebody committed suicide probably it could just be your one call that itself Save, save him or her, you get it. Most important thing guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give us a better, better content. And last but not the least, we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out. Mm -hmm.